Hello and welcome to another edition of KISS Gymnasium's Native Speaker Boccaccio Project, where we tell stories in this time of quarantine. My name is Spencer Gibson, uh, and we have a story today from a student in 6D. Um, and this story is called The Memory of the Melody. <clears throat> Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl who was stranded on a lonely island. Hot, bright sunbeams shine on her wet face. Slowly, she got up and looked around. The wind blew the many grains of sand from her body. She had no clue where she was and where she came from. She only knew that her name was Rosa. Completely confused, she looked around the island. The only thing she saw was sand, bushes, palm trees, and the sea. After a while, she noticed that something followed her. And from one moment to the next, she turned around and saw little footprints in the sand. And lo and behold, a small koala bear, a monkey, and a colorful parrot were hiding in the bush. Rosa, <clears throat> Rosa slowly approached them and started to communicate with the animals in a certain way. Rosa made friends with the animals, and together they spent the days on the island. One evening, Rosa was lying in her self-made hammock when she suddenly started to sing a song. As she heard the melody, her heart grew warm. She did not know from where she knew the verses. A feeling of safety spread across her body, and with the song in her head, she fell asleep under the big starry sky. Weeks, months passed. Rosa learned to live on the island. She knew nothing else. Rosa spent her time with the animals. She danced in the rain, showered under wonderful waterfalls, and swung with lianas through the jungle. And every evening she sang herself to sleep with this song. Rosa enjoyed her life on the island. She was independent, and the material things were of no value to her. She was perfectly happy. One day she built a boat with the help of the animals. She wanted to know what was still hiding behind the horizon, so she grabbed the boat and started rowing. After a while, she saw a big hill with many small houses. Once there, she got out of her small boat and looked around in astonishment. She'd never seen anything like this. There were people everywhere, squeezing through the crowd and Compared to the island, it was very loud. Dressed only with a thin cloth, she walked through the narrow streets until she suddenly heard an incredibly well-known melody. Quietly, she sang along. The voice of the woman who sang also seemed familiar to her. So she slowly opened the door of the house where the melody came from. In the house was a beautiful woman who sang the song. Rosa could hardly believe her eyes. The scales fell from her eyes. They ran towards each other and hugged each other. She took a deep breath and knew that the song had brought her back to her mother. Rosa's mother had always sung this song to her to fall asleep to. That is the end. Thank you once again to the student in 60. Uh, and please uh, come back next time uh, for more stories from the Boccaccio Project. Oh, and, and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.